Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica. Thank you so much for clicking the link to watch my videos. Um, we are here at our honeymoon. Sorry I didn't vlog the whole wedding week. I had, we had the best lit wedding of all time in my opinion. So my voice is still gone. But I wanted to show our room before we get it all dirty and stuff and all that jazz. Look how nice this is, you guys. We got champagne for our honeymoon. Oh, this is a big bottle, my goodness. It is so nice. I would take you guys outside, but I'll show you guys outside a little bit later. It is so humid here. I won't be wearing makeup during the day, just for a night to look all sexy for Lewis, but you know. <laughs> guys act like they don't know. Anyways, so this is pretty much our room. And it's just like, here's from the corner. It's a big room and with vaulted ceilings, which is nice. Um, this is definitely better than what I thought on the picture. Um, oh my gosh, I think I already got bit. <laughs> I'm not your jeans, girl. Yes, just, I did. You can't get bit in your jeans. I think that's right. Yeah, they are. <laughs> we have to put on bug spray because there's Zika here. <coughs> so, and then this is our closet. We're going to use that safe. I think we should put our laptops in there, babe. In safe? Yeah, because they said to use it. So that makes me nervous. I don't know why the lamp is crooked. This, I don't know. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, cool. I think it's cool. We didn't pay like, there's like all these different <laughs> levels. Bless you. We didn't know what to get, and I think we did good for not knowing what to do. <laughs> so I look a little disheveled. I'm gonna wash my face off because I have makeup. I've been wearing makeup for 24 hours, so that's a big no-no. Anyways, I'm gonna pee, and I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. Oh, here's the bathroom. I don't know if I was recording that whole time. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I was recording the other clip, so. And Lewis has allergies. He needs to blow his nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here's a lamp. And here's our first honeymoon heart. And then, I'm like walking fast. And here's some champagne. So like I was saying, here's the bathroom. This is a huge shower and then go to the toilet which has a separate door which is nice we can get ready together and we can get a closet and then we have this which we need to take a picture in our shirts before we not wear them and then the balconies out here so we got made sure we got a balcony. I will probably not be soaking in this tub because it's already dirty looking. And the pool. This resort is huge. This is nice. Hey guys. Oh my gosh, that scared me. The lens keeps fogging up. Hold on. We are in Grenada. Lou, say hi to the vlog. Hello. Um, we. Oh, you're fixing your phone? We got in last night and. Sorry. Gosh, look how humid it is. It keeps fogging up the lens. We got in last night and what did we do? We ate. Wait, we took a nap for a long time and then we woke up randomly at like 9 o'clock and then um, we ate at a restaurant like late, late, late last night. Then we went to a couple little events here cause they have activities all night. Oh my gosh. If you guys don't know where we're at, we are at Sandals Grenada um, Resort, all inclusive, which means you pay zero money. Well, you pay a lot of money. And then when you get here, you pay zero money for everything. Um, so non-alcoholic drinks, alcoholic drinks, food, snacks, desserts, Whatever you want, name it, it's all included. So, yeah, so we're gonna go get into some stuff today and I will check back in with you guys periodically because <clears throat> I want to make sure that my main focus is to relax and have fun. So, here we go. Oh, and by the way, my voice is still gone. Not sure. 
why but yeah it is so Backward is going to adjust the steering wheel up and down. Yeah? That's it. Perfect. Yeah? Nice. I'll get to the steering wheel. Alright. Now this vehicle is like a fairly automatic vehicle. So the only difference is you put it in low range and high range. Okay? So if you look on your gear lever stick, you're going to see an H. You're going to pull it all the way back to H. Okay? Wonderful. And H is basically high gear and that's the gear we're traveling on through the entire tour. Okay? Any questions? Nope. Okay, next up, to start the buggy, you want to put your foot on the brake. Alright, foot on the brake. After which you're going to turn the key just two times, and it's going to show you ignition. And the third click is going to start. So I'm going to put you to the test. Two click. So that's three click is to start. Don't start. Oh, don't start? Yeah. Yeah, so one, two, you're going to see ignition. Good. Okay. Yeah, ignition. Ignition. That's, that's three. Three is to start. Two is, two is ignition. Correct. All right? So ignition is basically shows, it shows you the gear that you're in as you progress. It shows you the speed, the mileage, and the stuff like that. All right? One. So right there is we have a couple of stuff. And I'm sure all of us will be stuck because it's like a big, I think like a big ditch of mud and water I think. our last day at Sandals Grenada and I have not filmed anything really honestly but I had a great time my voice is finally back and I took some medicine so I felt a lot better but I want to show you Sandals Grenada before I leave so this is what's called the living room um, this is where all the parties are um, the bar there's bars everywhere but and then we're getting out to this beach called Pink Gen Beach. This is St. George's Gren Grenada. Sorry, I keep saying Grenada. It's Grenada. And as you guys can see, there's a the pool and palm trees. It's just breathtaking. And they have a lot of pools. I'm not going to show you the other side of the resort because they're, taking, they're doing a photo shoot. sports section and you can play volleyball right there they took the net down for a photo shoot but look at the water 
I know you guys can't see it. I don't want to get dirty, but it's like crystal clear blue. And then we have the restaurants. I'll show you guys some of the restaurants. So there are two restaurants that you have to make reservations. But honestly, the best restaurant is this French one that Luce and I were like, eh, we're probably not gonna like the food, but it was amazing. So here's some cabanas right here. Super nice. So this is the restaurant that I was talking about. If you guys come here, you should eat at this restaurant, like as much as possible for dinner. They have braised lamb, which I don't even eat lamb, and it was bomb. It tastes like pot roast, but moist. And they have lots of vegetation. Uh, Cafe de Paris, this was a sweets restaurant. Louis and I never ate there because we're too full and we don't eat a lot of their sweets. Um, this was Soy, the sushi restaurant. This place is bomb. It was really good and they give you like four pieces for her sushi so it was really good. And then upstairs we have spices which is really good too. That's like typical Jamaican. Um, see if you can see it. Typical Jamaican restaurant up on top. Like I said, um, today's our last day. We are doing a two-part honeymoon, so Luz and I are going to be gone for a long time. Um, pretty much like two weeks of honeymoon, but part of it will be in Kansas, but whatever. So right now, we are at, um, where am I, what was I saying? <laughs> so right now, we are flying into Orlando for our second part and I will be vlogging that as much as possible but for Grenada I did not want to vlog because it was our honeymoon you know what I'm saying it's all about me my man and yeah I'll leave it at that so <laughs> this is the spa we were gonna do the spa but we decided not to um if you do the spa please know that it was six hundred dollars for a couple's massage I didn't understand why it was $600, but it's $600, so Lewis and I said no to that. Um, then through here is where you arrive. And they bring your bags and stuff right here. Even when you're leaving, they bring your bags and you just sit here. Um, so here is the infamous sandal sign. Right here and then I'm gonna try and like sneak over there but they're doing a photo shoot right now so I can't show you but this is where Lewis and I hung out a lot which is this pool area and just beyond I know you guys can't really see because they're kind of doing a photo shoot there is a pool area oh there's a guy standing there there's a pool area over there and they have pizza and then over to the right hand side there's more restaurants um, it's really really good it was amazing we you can get as many drinks like alcoholic non-alcoholic frozen non-frozen snack well not snacks food like actual meals as you want and it's just unlimited and it's all included for the price you pay our room was pretty pricey but talking to other people it was worth paying a little bit more money is worth paying a little bit more money for a nicer room um, but we did not have a butler but overall it still went really well huh? how did Grenada go? it was lovely it was good had a great time now off to Orlando yes Lewis is tired so you guys have to catch him on tomorrow <laughs> he's tired um so i had a really good time um we met some cool people here we got to dune buggy so you guys will see clips of that i recorded it on my phone so i didn't break my camera um and i'm glad i didn't bring my camera but it's just a nice trip i think five days four nights is the perfect amount of time here um anything more than that we probably i mean i feel like we both could stay till tomorrow but we're kind of ready to go get something different um the type of people here though they were a little bit more um quieter so i'm just gonna rest you guys because my arm hurts they're a little bit more quiet so it wasn't as like 
like there's a young crowd here, but it's not like super young. So it's more mature and like laid back and chill, which is nice after our stressful wedding planning. So, but um, if you want something a little bit more livelier, I think Sandals OG is supposed to be like the party island. So if you're looking for that, Grenada is more relaxation. Um, and it was nice to come here because we didn't have a lot of people. Um, which was nice because we didn't have to like share a bunch of stuff. It wasn't crowded. It was perfect. Um, weather held up even though we, this is rain season, rain season and hurricane season right now for the island. There was only rain for the first day. So it was really nice. So I really enjoyed my time. So um, the rest of our day is going to be consistent of flying. So I will check back in with you guys once we get to Orlando and hopefully you guys enjoyed our ride. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica. Thank you so much for clicking the link to watch this video. We are in SeaWorld. Lewis went to go get us some drinks. I'm a terrible vlogger. We went to Universal yesterday and we couldn't record or film the majority of it <coughs> because they had um, signs everywhere, no photography, no motion pictures. So we took pictures and like Instagrammed, but we couldn't really film. And then they have video cameras recording people filming and then you get in trouble. So Universal is like copyright stuff. So I'm sorry I couldn't film there. Um, but I'm at SeaWorld. You can film here. We are about to watch the best show at SeaWorld, which is the Killer Ocean one with Shamu. So I'm just gonna go find us some seats. And then, as soon as I do that, in 20 minutes, the show should be starting. Originally wanted to do 
uh, with my life. I wanted to be a killer well trainer. Oh, uh, okay. I realized. What? No, so you gonna take this? You want me to vlog, but you wanna take the tension off me. Yeah, because so, you're done. making up no, stuff. Not for real. You really do? Yeah, I really did want to be uh, a sea world, a killer well trainer, but I realized I wasn't good at biology when I got to college. I didn't like science, cause you know. Oh really? Yeah. Free Willy was my favorite movie. That's what. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, so we're about to get something sweet and then we're gonna hit the road. Oh, I got something sweet. Yeah. <laughs> very light. Yeah. I need some sweet, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chocolate drop. Uh, so, we went to Universal yesterday and it was really fun. Stop. We went to Universal yesterday and it was really fun. Lewis couldn't on the Harry Potter ride. Legs too big. They said he was too big. Too tall. And they tried to push it down and it wouldn't go down, so they're like... I'm not fat, y'all. I'm just saying I was too... So the guy was Legs like... He was like, to him, unfortunately, sir, you're gonna have to exit this ride. And then he was like, ma'am, do you still want to ride? And I was like, obviously not, so. And then I went back on another ride, which had the same exact seating. And I fit perfectly, but the thing was, the seats on that ride, it dipped. The ones on the Harry Potter sat straight up, which made my knees sit straight up, and it couldn't come all the way down. Yeah. That ride's for short people. It's biased, it's racist. Uh, that's the wrong term, but yeah. Anyways, Prejudices. copyright with this YouTube music, or with this music playing, YouTube's probably gonna copyright me, so I'm gonna end this segment and I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. But yeah, we're pretty much done with SeaWorld. We're soaked, we got on a fun ride, and I'm soaked. The new ride, Island Falls, you get really wet, like really, really wet, so.